I just did an arm workout yesterday and I have no clue how I'm gonna hold these books up in the end, but I'm sure we'll all get a good laugh out of it. Oh my gosh, my workout is killing me right now. Ooh, ah, okay. Oh! No! Hello everybody, it's Kristen here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a book haul. There is a funny story behind this because I collected kind of a decent amount of books midway through April and I was like, you know what? I don't normally get tons of books all the time. I thought pre-film the video, you know, so you can have it ready for the end of April because you're not going to get any more books. Three quarters way through April, I got a few more books and I was like, oh, come on. You're not going to get any more books. Like seriously, no, you're not. Uh, mm. So I pre-filmed the video then and I still got more books by the end of April. So <sighs> book lovers problems. Today I am going to be uh, doing my book haul for the month of April. All right, so let's just get right into this. I have a variety of genres. I don't want to count the books right now. We'll count afterwards. Hopefully they fit into the screen. All right, guys. So the first book I have is California by uh, Eden Lepucky. Eden Lepucky. Oh man. Names are so hard. So this is a post-apocalyptic book set in California about two people who are stuck together. And I mean, what more can you want from a post-apocalyptic book? I don't know much about this. I believe it's a, a thriller. And um, so yeah, I don't really wanna know much about books like this. I think the excitement comes from not knowing how the story is going to turn out or you know the main premise of it. Alrighty, so that is the first book I have. And I don't know, maybe there. The next book I have is Queen of Shadows by Sarah J Maas. Um, I'm sure all of you guys know that this is a part of the Throne of Glass series. I have not read it actually. Um, I'm slowly collecting all of the books because I know when I read them, I'll probably just marathon the whole series. So I wanna own them all. The last book, uh, Empire of Storms, is only in hardback I believe and the paperback is coming soon. I might get to this and then get Empire of Storms later. I don't know what's gonna happen. Not too much pressure on myself. I'm super excited to now um, have a majority of the Throne of Glass series books because as everybody knows, fantasy is my favorite genre, so yeah. The next two books I have are part of a series and that is the Gentleman's Bastard series by Scott Lynch. This is the second book, Red Seas Under Red Skies, and this is the third book, The Republic of Thieves. I got the first book, The Lies of Loch Lamora, for Christmas this past year. Sam from Thoughts on Tomes recommended the uh, Gentleman's Bastard series and she said if you really liked the main character Kaz from the Six of Crows duology, then you would really, really like the main character Loch Lamora from this series. And I was like, yes, I absolutely loved Kaz from Six of Crows. So I'm super excited to now own all of these. To be honest, I actually didn't look to see if there's more than just three books, but for now I own one, two, and three. So that makes me super happy. I never mentioned this is a fantasy series. I actually got the third book maybe like a month ago at the beginning of April. And I was like, darn it, I have one and three. I'll just see if I can find two. And what do you know, later on in the month, number two pops up. So I was just like, this is meant to be people. This is meant to be. Of course, fantasy books are massive. So this is going to get a little scary. And the next book I have is fantasy as well. And that is The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. This is one big chunker of a book. When I first saw this at Valley Village, I thought, oh, you know, maybe it's large print or something. No, it's just regular print. And even like the margins are tiny. I've never read any Brandon Sanderson books. And when I saw this one, I was like, yeah. This is book one in the Stormlight Archive series. I don't know when I'll get to this one, but honestly, fantasy, Brandon Sanderson, yes. This is already five books and this is just getting very precarious. All right, the next book I have, it is a Brandon Sanderson book and that is Mistborn. And I am so stinking excited to own this one because if there ever was a more recommended series by Brandon Sanderson, it's this one. Sadly, this is the, the 
ugly paperback version. When you're a book lover, who cares what the book looks like? You just want to own it. So I'm so excited now to own it. I honestly would prefer to own more of them before I start reading this series. But if I have no self-control, I can always get the rest of the books from the library. But I mean, I would prefer to own them. So I had a really good fantasy month. For the heck of it, I'll continue on with the san f fantasy smoke. I'll continue on with the fantasy books that I got. The next one I have is Sabriel by Garth Nix. This is an older fantasy series, and I believe Garth Nix came out with another book in the series. I believe it's a prequel. Am I right in saying it's Clarial? Uh, but basically that kind of resurrected the series apparently. And um, so I've heard a lot about it recently. And when I saw this one for very cheap price, I was like, Yes! Don't know much about all the series, but honestly, I mean, when it comes in such high praise, I don't really need to know much. I just need to read it. Do I have any more fantasy? <sighs> no. All right. <sighs> oh my gosh. The next book I have is a fiction. Um, to be honest, I kind of need some clarification about is fiction considered lit literary fiction, like just adult fiction, or is it considered just fiction? I don't know. So this is a fiction novel and this is 419 by Will Ferguson. My mom has actually read this. I originally bought this book for her, but then she told me she read it and I was like, darn it. Uh, but she said she would reread it because she absolutely loved it. So um, I don't know much about this. What I do know is I think there's a bunch of main characters and um, this book is about how their stories intertwine. And it is set, it's, it's set in multiple settings, but I do know it's set in Africa. Um, either all of it or part of it. I've already said this multiple times, but I love any book about Africa. I trust my mom's opinion so much, so I definitely will read this and I know I'll enjoy it, but I don't know when. Oh my gosh, I have the itchiest nose right now. I'm not picking my nose, I swear. The next few books are in the thriller category. When I discovered booktube, I jumped into reading thrillers and oh, I mean, I love them now. I think what's nice about it is sometimes when you have a slower book or a book that didn't grab your attention as much, when you read a thriller, it really kind of picks up the reading and it's like a page turner. Some thrillers are better than others, but whatever. Uh, so the next book I have is Night Film by Marisha Pessel. And I'm sure you guys have seen this go around booktube. It is a thriller. And again, I don't like to know a lot about thrillers, but the story begins off with a girl who is killed and they rule it to be a suicide someone believes it's a homicide and so they it's kind of their journey of figuring that all out and it's thrilling and exciting and scary so yes can we just say like the holographic cover of this book is just awesome the next book i have is the child thief by dan smith and basically it's kind of the story just as right on the cover there is someone who is stealing children and the main character i think it's lucas he sets out to find these children basically and whoever is doing this it is set in the ukraine so i think that setting uh, is going to be really cool oh look a powerful thriller with a dark heart scary the next book i have is in a dark dark wood by ruth ware this is a thriller and i mean the cover just screams thriller to me so the main character lenora uh, also known as nora uh, wakes up in a hospital and something happened this past weekend and she can't remember it so the story follows her remembering it thriller okay the books can still be seen this is a this is good so the last two books i have are historical fiction so another book is between shades of gray by ruta sapetes this one is a young adult historical fiction the latest book i believe that ruta sapetes came out with is salt to the sea and that has gone around booktube so much and i've heard so much good about her writing this story basically follows lena and her family and how they are being sent to siberia this is set around world war ii i believe so yeah i'm sure this one will be good and then the last book I have is The Miniaturist by Jesse Burton. Um, again, you might have seen this one on booktube. This is set in Amsterdam, I believe. Yes, and there is this couple and the man presents his wife with a gift uh, of a miniature house. I actually don't know much beyond that. I don't know if it's magical realism or if it's just historical fiction. I'm not sure, but it follows the little house and the little people. I mean, I could be giving a brutal synopsis, but... <laughs> I'll never know until I read it, unless I hear spoilers somewhere, which that would suck, but. Alrighty, so let's put this up here. Okay, so can we see all the books? That is the question. Yes, 
So I hope you enjoyed this book haul. This is the first one I've ever done. I had lots of fun going through all the books I had. Book hauls are honestly so fun to watch. If you guys have read any of these books, let me know what you thought about it. I'd love to hear your thoughts on them. If any of these are on your TBR, or you get inspired to read a book because of this haul, I don't know. Or if you just want to say hi, you can talk about whatever you want to. Give this video a big thumbs up, click subscribe if you want to, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!